So, we last met September 2018 in Tel Aviv. And this is a picture of us from that day. <laughs> you see, this was from a time when people were able to travel freely and zero social distance. We're almost hugging. When do you think things will get back to normal? When do you think we'll be able to travel again and live normally again like before? I can't say. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a prophet. I don't know if it will take half a year or one year or two years, but eventually it will happen, especially with the vaccines and with the, uh, uh, our, our better understanding of the epidemic and how to deal with it. You know, and, and some things will change, but COVID will not change basic human nature. The same way that AIDS didn't destroy sex, people still have sex after AIDS, so COVID will not destroy hugging and will not destroy human sociability. It will survive COVID. Do you think after we are done with this particular pandemic, we should be afraid of the next pandemic, a more deadly one? Hmm. It depends on our political reaction. We now have the scientific and technological tools to basically stop all epidemics. If we really wanted to, we could make COVID the last epidemic in human history. Uh, we can't stop, of course, the appearance of new viruses and new pathogens, but by monitoring effectively the whole world and by providing good healthcare and investing in, uh, in medicines, in the development of medicines and vaccines, we can prevent new viruses from turning into new epidemics. But whether we will actually do it, that's a political question. Unfortunately, so far, the, our political leadership has failed us, whereas scientists have done a tremendous job in identifying the virus and developing treatments and vaccines, politicians have not been able to um, create a unified global alliance against the pandemic. We don't have a global plan of action of how to stop this pandemic, and we don't have a global plan of action to establish some kind of, you know, effective global system against pandemics. In general, it, it's really it's up to us. If we really want it, and if we have good political leadership, this could be the last pandemic in history.